They were aristocrats, entitled and sustained by a greed for power. Having been involved in the foundation of Umbrella, the Ashford family had also independently performed research on the Veronica virus. However, 15 years ago, Alexander Ashford disappeared under mysterious circumstances. To make things worse, Alexander's daughter Alexia, a child prodigy who played a key role in the research, died at a young age. Her untimely demise brought an end to the Veronica project, and the Umbrella files show that all research was apparently lost. The Ashford lineage gradually lost its power to the corrupt hands of the Umbrella Corporation. Alexia's brother, Alfred, was demoted to a mere supervisor, and he was sent to command a private detention facility on an isolated island in the Southern Seas, alone. I feel like this year may be special, don't you, Alexia? It's almost like there's something I'm forgetting. My dear Alfred, please be easy on yourself. Why don't you set down your burdens and play a game with me? You're right, Alexia. Since you've come back, I've never been this happy. Way. Wait! I wasn't trying to escape. I just... The alarm sounded and the door unlocked. I thought that I... Rockford uh, Prison, uh, Detainee 267. <laughs> Guess you're not with Umbrella, then, are you? I'm Claire Redfield. Damn, girl. You scared me. Eyes forward. <laughs> so, what's your name? My name's Steve. You don't look like one of them, Claire. They get you too? Yeah, you could say that. Looks like my brother was never even here. Umbrella probably doesn't know where he is either. What did he do? Why are they after him? I don't know. But he's been missing for three months. I was in Paris looking for him. I broke into one of Umbrella's labs. But I got caught. And you were sent here. What about you? What's your story? Uh, it's dumb. You don't want to know. <laughs> Just tell me. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Some other jackass screwed up. Landed the two of us in here. So we're in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. So, you don't know much about this place, do you? Apparently some noble family owned the joint. The Ashfords. That's Alfred. He's the only surviving member. Rumor has it, he went mad from loneliness. But why would anyone want to bomb this place? Anyway, I've got to contact Leon. He'll come for us. Look out! <laughs> I am Alfred Ashford, son of Alexander Ashford. That's him. Why have you come to disturb us? Was it you? Was it you who spread that wretched virus across my island? That's got nothing to do with us! Look, we all need to get out of here right now, okay? <laughs> She has only just now returned to me. <laughs> Why would I want to leave? Who? You mean Alexia? <laughs> she always did enjoy playing games. And she has come up with the most splendid game for us to play. Games? If you survive our challenge, I will personally present you with a getaway plane as your prize. 
Ready? Let the game begin! He is... was... my father. What? He worked for Umbrella. Nobody, just another face in the crowd. He was a rat. A mole. He tried to leak some data, make some quick cash, but they caught him. And they killed my mother. And then they took me. Steve. It was his fault. He was stupid. He was... Let's go. Alfred was playing two roles all by himself. He couldn't bear the fact that his sister was dead. This is our way off this island! Wait, something is wrong here. We don't have time, let's go! Code Veronica in Claire! Open gate 2B for takeoff. <laughs> to the truth. Okay, now we get the hell off this damn island. Taken my plane. It will only prove for more entertainment. <laughs> what was that? Something is stuck to the pontoon. I'll go back to the cargo room and take a look. The seaplane carrying Steve and Claire began to descend and made an emergency landing at an unknown facility, a forgotten site. It was just yet another playground. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Latitude 82 degrees, 17 minutes south. We're at the South Pole. What? Forgive me, Alexia. I thought I could finish them alone. <laughs> Awaken from your slumber and bring forth the great Veronica. <laughs> Once Chris disappeared after the mansion incident, he was near impossible to track down. But using my newfound position in the government, I eventually discovered his location. 
I would have contacted his sister, but she was a ghost herself. So I turned my search over to Claire then, and eventually learned of her confinement on Rockford Island. I shared this information with Chris, and he asked me to arrange a rescue mission before he set off on his own to find her. Claire! Claire! Kidding me? I thought tough girls like you didn't get worried. <laughs> what happened? How did you get here? Leon contacted me. Leon? You know him? Yeah. He tracked me down right after you went missing. Look, Claire, we can talk about this later, but we gotta get out of here first. Wait, Steve, he's here somewhere. We can't leave without him. <sighs> <laughs> You're Alexia Ashford. Oh, you know my name. I thought you were dead. No, I've just been hibernating for 15 years to become one with the Veronica virus. Veronica virus? I still have some experiments to perform. Would you care to play along? Your friend awaits you in the Colosseum. You don't want to be late. <laughs> she injected me with something. I think it's the Veronica virus. She wants to test me, see if I'll obey her orders. Claire, she wants me to kill you. Steve! <laughs> I won't kill you! Gonna make it. You know that. The virus is in me. There's no turning back. No. You're coming with us. Claire. Stay here. I'm gonna go plant this in the power room. I'm coming with you. It's time this ended. Alexia has to be stopped. I'm gonna finish this, Steve. And then we'll all be free. experiment at the Colosseum was so much fun, don't you think? Chris! Though I guess sometimes a worker ant will turn on his queen. Chris! Are you okay? Oh, that's right. You two are brother and sister, aren't you? I had a brother once, too. He really wasn't much fun. He couldn't even wake me up on time. But I've released him of all his responsibilities. 
You think everyone in this world is here to serve you, don't you? Serve me? No. I think everyone else is here to serve my experiments. <laughs> 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 Thanks to you, Veronica's angry, which makes me stronger. <laughs> If you are seeing this message, that can only mean that Code Veronica has reached a critical stage. Father. The year is 1983, and I am afraid that my only daughter has become obsessed with the Veronica virus. She has even got to the point of experimenting on her own body. My daughter dreams of unleashing this thing into the world. This last step is the only way I can think of to help her. Whether you are on Umbrella's side or not, please help her. Even though it was he who created my brother and I, but he was such a miserable old man. What's going on? Where's Steve? Taken. A star's knife? But this one looks different from yours. I'm pretty sure I know who it belongs to. Veronica virus, despite Chris's best efforts, was procured by Wesker. He secured Steve's body, which had been infected, and was able to extract the virus, leading to its reappearance in South America. The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually, until the day comes when it can be destroyed.